Man, oh man, oh man. Tyler Santos defeats Jillian Robertson via decision, guys. Woo, that was a good fight. It was a tough fight. Um, I got to give it to Taylor Santos, man. She was able to do something that nobody has done to Jillian Robertson in the UFC, which is, you know, something that I've always said. You know, it, what happens if somebody puts Jillian Robertson on her back, you know? She put Jillian on her back, man, and she was able to use her size, a big size difference between Robertson and Taylor Santos. Um, but she was able to put Jillian Robertson on her back and just dominate, you know what I'm saying? And Jillian was doing a good job of trying to throw up submissions from the back, trying to work from her back. But Taylor Santos, man, her jujitsu was really, really good, man. And it, 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 was, it was impressive to see her be able to reverse takedowns and out clinch and get Jillian Robinson to the ground. And, you know, <clears throat> I was a little disappointed that there weren't really many striking exchanges in this fight. You know, I thought Jillian would be able to establish her pressure on Taylor Santos, but Taylor Santos did not back down from, I mean, Jillian tried to apply pressure on Taylor Santos, but I mean, Taylor Santos did not back down from Jillian Robertson, you know what I'm saying, like, and she put Jillian Robertson on her back, and didn't really do much, she didn't really do much, she landed a few elbows, she didn't really do much, she just held position, she held position, and, 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 and kept Jillian in place, and did a good job of neutralizing the hips of Jillian Robertson, when Jillian was trying to swivel her hips to throw up submissions from the bottom, um, uh, Taylor Santos did a good job of just neutralizing it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, good work by Taylor Santos, man. That was a, that was a that was a that was a um impressive win over Jillian Robertson. You know, it, it it wasn't the most exciting fight, but it was it I mean it wasn't the most exciting fight, but it was it was a good fight. It was a good fight. Um kudos to Taylor Santos. She gets the number 12 spot. So, we got to see what they do with the rankings or whatever and who Taylor Santos fight next. But you know, hard loss for Jillian Robertson. Hard loss for Jillian Robertson. You know, Jillian got to break this two, you know, this this win two, lose one, win two, lose one. She got to break that win two, lose one. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it always happens. She'll win two, and then she'll lose one. She'll win two, and then she'll lose one. So, we got to see what happens to Jillian. Of course, I'm still going, still going for my girl Jillian Robertson. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing change. Ain't nothing going to change. You know what I'm saying? Hard loss for Jillian, but we all know Jillian will be back. So it is what it is. Um, but like I said, guys, great job. Taylor Santos is just neutralizing Jillian Robertson, not really letting Jillian Robertson get into her groove. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it was a strength advantage too, man. Like, you know, as soon as Jillian Robertson tried to lock, you know, tried to grab up anything or put Taylor in a position to, to dominate, like when the fight, when Jillian ended up on top in the second round, Taylor Santos did a great job of just bucking and, 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 and muscling her way out of a lot of the positions. You know what I'm saying? Taylor Santos is strong and big, man, you know, so, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, it's all right, Savage. Keep your head up, Savage. You'll be back, and you already know, and your boy is out.